Hiya, Martin here. Thank you for joining me for this little uh, this little video. It um, it's not uh, it's not a project video, and it's not Turner's journey. This is uh, this is one that's been kind of doing the rounds amongst uh, wood turners here in the UK and uh, across Europe. And it's ten questions, and I was very kindly nominated by by my very good friend Mike Walt to uh, to answer these ten questions. And uh, and I hope that you find um, the next few minutes interesting and enlightening um, as to a little bit more, a little bit of a background, um, I guess, about uh, me and my turning. Let's f kick off, shall we? Um, when did you start wood turning and why? That's a good question. Um, I kind of came to wood turning in a bit of a, a roundabout kind of way. Um, before before I got into turning, I was a professional photographer and a graphic designer and a web builder and stuff like that. So still in a, in a, in a creative industry. And um, I lost my photo studio in, uh, in my divorce, sadly. And uh, after that, I kind of, um, I kind of lost interest, I suppose, in, uh, in photography and um, graphic design and, and what have you. And I was working at a bar at, uh, at the Bath and West County Show down in, uh, down in uh, Somerset. Uh, oh, way, way, way that way. And uh, behind the bar was a chap called Martin Symes. Um, lovely old chap. Well, not that old. Um, but he, he, he stereotypical would turn a big bushy beard, jumper and a cap. And he was turning gardener's dibbers. And uh, I said to him, can I have a go? And uh, he said, oh, no, I can't let you have a go. Health and safety, and I'm not insured. And I went, oh, oh, that's a real shame. And, um, but then he said, tell you what, you bring me a couple of pints of cider tonight, and I'll let you have a go in the morning before the gates open. <laughs> so, so that evening, I took him over a couple of pints of cider, and um, he let me have a go, or rather, he helped me. Now, I'm left-handed, he's right-handed, and uh, bless him, he's, he, he's not a natural teacher. <laughs> um, but anyway, between us, we turned um, a gardener's dibber, and in that 20 minutes or so, I was hooked. Um, and it was then that I decided I'd found what I wanted to do to replace photography and graphic design, and um, decided to become a wood turner. So that's, um, oh, that's, that was question two, how did you get started? Um, and that day was the 29th of May, 2015. So I haven't been doing it long, but I gave everything to it um, at the time I was without a job, and now this is my job. I do this for a living, and I consider myself to be very, very lucky indeed. So 29th of May 2015 was when I turned my first item, and I have turned virtually every day since. So it's good. What tools do you use the most, it says in question three? Um, those. Um, I use, let me grab it. I, I use mostly, gosh, let me pick three, four. Mostly um, I use, um, in, in no particular order, uh, the Les Thorne um, 10 mil skew, um, Robert Sorby 3 eighths or 10 mil, um, spindle gouge on, on my own handle and uh, Robert Sorby half inch bowl gouge uh, on my own on my own handle and also this absolute beast of a scraper um, and Ashley Isles I think it's um, an inch and a half bowl scraper absolutely fabulous um, what finish do you prefer uh, question four <laughs> um, it won't come as any surprise to anybody but my preferred finish is a wax finish and that wax being Hampshire Sheen. Um, you might accuse me of being biased um, 
which is fair enough, I probably am biased. My preferred finish is Hampshire Sheen because it gives me the finish that I want. Um, I started Hampshire Sheen because the waxes I was using at the time didn't give me a finish that I want, so I made one. <laughs> um, but to, uh, to be absolutely straight down the line, my preferred finish is the one that is most suitable to the use of the item being turned. There you go. How's, <laughs> how's that for diplomatic? Um, question five. What would you like to achieve this year? That's a good question. What would I like to achieve this year? Um, I would actually like to achieve more turning. Um, for those of you who follow um, Turner's journey and stuff, you'll realise that um, I'm a wood turner, but I don't actually have a huge amount of time to turn. So, um, because I'm busy doing other stuff, um, like making wax and mixing stains, and, and then, of course, there's the administration of the business and, and, and all that, and the social media, and... and, and, and. So... More turning is what I would like to achieve this year. I think that would be uh, that would be really good to achieve a little bit more turning. Question six: What part of turning do you enjoy the most? Um, another good question. Now I think the part of turning I enjoy most: hollowing out a bowl. I think hollowing out the inside of a bowl. I find the um, the spirals created um, as the piece is spinning and the gouges running through the wood really quite hypnotic. And to see to see that, you know, 10, 12 times, 15 times as you're hollowing out a bowl is um, is really, really quite relaxing. And once once I nailed my technique and could hollow out a bowl successfully, um, without getting catches and stuff like that it became it it became really really right quite relaxing and i think that's the part i enjoy most what is the favorite piece you have turned in question 7 again that's another good question and i would have to say i don't know but if pushed I would have to say the um, the Mali Burr pieces I've turned recently uh, with the metal reactive paints in. Uh, I've really, I've really enjoyed, really, really enjoyed turning those, and that it was those pieces I think, and a couple of a couple of them before that um, I think will end up dictating my my style, as it were. Question eight, <laughs> to colour or to colour or not to colour? To colour, of course, absolutely. Yes, colour anything you like. Question nine, why did you start a YouTube channel? Um, I started a YouTube channel purely to, at the time, give back to the community that had helped me learn to turn in, uh, in the first place. There weren't that many UK turning channels um, around. There was Mike, um, for sure. But, you know, when you do a YouTube search and you want to know stuff, you pick up on the first channels that come up. So they were, they were Mike Walt, Carl Jacobson, Captain Eddie, um, Tim Yoda, Sam Angelo, and uh, Stephen Ogle. Um, down, uh, down, in the, down in the south, I think he is, of, uh, of the US. So... I started a channel to give back to the community um, that helped to teach me turn. Uh, question 10, what other hobbies do you enjoy? Uh, I don't have time for, um, for um, other hobbies. Um, I want to get back into rock climbing. Um, I did a, a spell as a, as a rock climbing instructor uh, for about two years. Uh, not so long ago, um, and I really, really loved um, teaching teaching people to climb. It was brilliant. It was mostly mostly young people, and I would teach about fifty kids a, fifty kids a week, um, coach them along over over a year, and to teach them to climb. And I miss climbing. It's been 
three years in July since I last climbed. Um, and I really miss it. And I keep saying to myself and my girlfriend, we are going to go climbing again. We're going to do it. And I say it to the kids as well. You know, my own kids, they used to climb and they used to love it. But because of time and logistics and stuff like that, that's a poor excuse. Um, I haven't been able to climb as much or at all. Um, so I will be getting back into climbing at some point. Um, the usual things, I love spending time with my kids, although that's not really a hobby. Um, I love spending time with them and messing around with them and going off and seeing stuff. So just, um, just being a normal dad, I suppose, um, is, uh, is what I enjoy most. Yeah, being a dad. <laughs> it, it's not a hobby, but because I don't see my kids every week um, or every day, then um, you know they, they come along and we go out and do stuff. So yeah, I enjoy seeing my kids. Well, that's the end of the 10 questions. I'm not entirely certain who I'm going to nominate yet. Uh, so keep an eye out um, for the next, uh, the next one. Uh, when I find out who it is, then I'll put an annotation up, but I'm not entirely certain who it's gonna be just at the moment, but Mike asked me to do this about two, three weeks ago. So thank you very much. Um, uh, have a great time in your workshops this weekend and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.